Haley, it is really great talking to you today. I've really enjoyed watching Dickinson. So congrats on getting a second season and an upcoming third season. Thank you so much. Now, what stands out to you about the real Emily Dickinson that you try to bring to her, to your performance? Well, I mean, what's so wonderful about this show is obviously we, we take the facts, what we know to be true about Emily, and the rest is our interpretation. So in thinking that what the reality of sitting in a room day in, day out, writing, right? Trying to find the inspiration and motivation and now having spent quite a few months in, in my room, uh, as we all have, thinking about, you know, what her brain must have been like to come up with what she did in isolation. Um, because I know that that was not the case for me for quite a few of those months in isolation. Um, but I think her, her strong will and her wit and her, her intelligence, I mean, her ability to think outside of the four walls that she was in um, is something that I've, I've hopefully, hmm, I mean, I've, I've brought to the character and, and, and Elena has as well in the writing, Elena Smith, a writer. Um, but yeah, just taking into consideration the interpretation of what we all think it might have been. We see that she really deals with fame and notoriety in this season, and if she wants all of that. And I feel like you've really been able to balance fame and your private life, despite how many big projects you've taken on. What advice do you have for teens, kids out there that, you know, feel that pressure of social media and that need to document every moment of their lives? You know, I think it's social media is a crazy thing in that for everyone who's on it knows what it's like and how easy it is to paint a picture of a reality that is not reality. Um, and I don't know. I just feel like as long as you are happy and content um, with yourself, that's what's most important. It's very easy to put something out there to look for the validation in an amount of likes or comments and um, you know, I just feel like if it's something that you love and it's something that you're passionate about and it's something you want to share with the world, then it kind of doesn't really matter how many likes or what people choose to say. It's something that you felt strongly about and, and that's all that matters. So I don't know. I also just, yeah, just it's a crazy thing and I'm dealing with it too. So that's why I think it's hard for me to feel like I can give advice on it. Now, we see in episode seven that Emily gets to meet this opera singer, but it doesn't quite go as planned. Who have you met along the way that you've looked up to, but they were everything that you needed them and wanted them to be? Wow. You know, I feel like I've gotten so lucky in that I've come across people that I have admired for the longest time and, and they're everything. I mean, like, Jeff Bridges is, is I mean probably that person. I I was very young when I met him, but I was so unbelievably excited. And, and when I had gotten that job uh, to play Maddie Ross in True Grit, the one person I wanted to meet was Rooster Cogburn, and that was it. And I was familiar, of course, with, with Jeff and his work. And um, I know that like he was somebody my parents always loved. And I was so excited. And he just was, what you just said, everything you wanted and more, and um, still is. So... You were fantastic in True Grit. And I remember I go to a movie for my birthday every year and we saw True Grit. And no I was like, she's going to be a huge star. You were so good. And then you got the Oscar nomination. I was like, of course she did. Like, obviously. That's yeah. so sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now you and Ella Hunt and Jane Krakowski all sing. Do you have any like sing-offs in between takes? Can we like push for a musical inspired episode for season three? Because music is such a big part of this show. You know what? If that hasn't already been thought of, which I'm sure it like it would be crazy if it hasn't been, that has to happen because yes, it's. I mean, anytime the the anytime we hear something, if somebody says something that's a lyric in a song, it's a outbreak. It's an outbreak of of musical like. If somebody says, "Okay, we're turning around," it's all turn the beat. Up. Like we go full on into whatever it is, or. I mean, whatever is somebody says, we'll always pick up on it. There was one that we did all of season two. What was it? I have to ask Ella. She would know. But anyway, yes, the answer to that is yes. And if it's not happening already, it needs to happen um, because that would be amazing. <laughs> I love that. That makes me so happy. So it was great talking to you today. I run to a lot of your your songs. They're on my running playlist. So I was like, I'm going to see you, Haley, one day. So thank you for that. 